Typically, conductors will hold what's called the baton in, in our right hands. And um, the reason we use a baton is because, you know, sometimes with large orchestras, the visibility can be very difficult and they may not be able to see anything very specific. And so uh, it, the baton kind of just extends the reach of our hand gestures um, and, you know, it prevents us from having to just wave our arms all over the place all the time and really getting incredibly exhausted. Um, but the left hand is very interesting. You can, we can use that for a lot more expressive things. And so when I teach young people to conduct, um, what I tell them is think of your left hand as like you're holding the sound actually in your hand as though it were like a ball in your hand or something like that. And so like the sound has a physical weight in your hand. And so what I tell them is think about if you had an object like you're holding the sound and you can open your hand to let the sound out and close your hand to contain the sound again. And so this is just a basic gesture that you can give to an orchestra to say play and then to close your hand and get them to turn to the sound off. So that's just a basic kind of left hand gesture. And so this is almost like with your baton hand, it's like the kind of on off switch. So you can say, turn it on and, and something like that, or you know, this is how it's gonna go. And this is like your, um, almost like the, um, the metronome, like you're kind of keeping time with this. And that's a very important thing. You can't just wave your arm around in, in different things because, you know, music occurs in time and you have to keep a steady beat. And so this can sometimes keep a steady beat if necessary. Conductors don't always just conduct the beat because it's very, sometimes you want to be more advanced and do different things, but sometimes you just have to keep a steady beat, especially if the music is very complicated and the musicians, you know, they're, they're looking at the music and you're just helping them kind of keep their place in very, very complicated music. So this is kind of keeping the time and the beat. And then this hand is doing all kinds of beautiful gestures that are more expressive. You can kind of throw the music, you can kind of caress the music. And so I really use the left hand to be very very expressive.